Hello, everybody. Uh, it's my pleasure to participate on this meeting. Thank you very much for Marcus and Gwen for uh, the invitation and to help me to my presentation to make the record. So I'd like to share uh, the presentation. It is about the history of the Commission C1 and also about the current activities, okay? Uh, I would like to start to say that it's a history of the Commission based on a paper that I have presented on the last General Assembly of the IU about the 100 years, the centenary symposium that happened there. So I make a, a let's say, a survey about this uh, newsletter for many years. And I'd like to ask uh, for, uh, to thank very much for all the history of this, about my archives, the internet of the commission webpage, the Michel Gebaudi, Eric McKenzie, and Madeleine, more recently about many issues that we have uh, surveyed. About the history of this uh, commission, we have uh, some information about that I would like to share with you. One is about the cover layout, okay? We can see about many images that we'd like to, to present now. Uh, it was about 40 years and 87 issues from 77 to 2018. So I'd like to share about uh, these uh, covers, newsletters, many different shapes, as you can see. And uh, there is something about the editors, or particularly from the years, as you know, the commission was established in 67, but was published first time in 76, as Derek McNally, uh, John Percy, Barry Jones, Larry Marshall, and uh, even Beatriz Garcia helping about these uh, many issues of the newsletters, right? So the commission's project, we could talk about the International School of Young Astronomers, visiting lectures program, the traveling telescope, national reports, astronomy education materials, meeting courses, astronomical phenomena, and book reviews and papers. So I'd like to, to show to you about this. There is an identification about many uh, images of these pages mentioning about the International School of Young Astronomers or IAU Working Group for Worldwide Development of Astronomy. So the program uh, about the worldwide developing many editions, of, you can see here about John Henshaw and Julieta Fierro in many countries, and the triennial reports of the commission and the national representatives. So have any other uh, covers mentioning each one. Education material, many, many things were published. So we have, as we, we say many times, not reinvented the role, right? So we know reinvented the, the wheel, right? To go about the, the roadmap, about many things that we have to do, but there, is there are many examples about this. So we, we can see the general assembly reports about sections and business meeting, and you can see about many reports, as we can see here in Prague, right? In the uh, in the IAU that happened there. So many meetings that uh, happens as a GREP and uh, about the others about astronomy education. So you can see uh, many conventions, uh, how I'll say, about uh, meetings uh, or symposia or colloquium. So courses were mentioned about the courses of development of astronomy, many, many things about astronomy teaching. So many solar eclipses and other phenomena were reported, as you can see about Jay Pasakov and Barry Jones. And the papers, very interesting papers, are about 50 papers, not regularly published, but, but uh, many interesting subjects and could be read for the people interested in astronomy discussions and studies. Right? Projects and issues. Issues, we have something about the project ICE, project STARS, or new approach in education for the public, many, many papers about this. Light pollution, about women in astronomy, there are things very, for many decades ago, right? So 
uh, resource guides for women in astronomy, so calendar, and new technologies. There are many things about this to use uh, at the first time, use computer with uh, things to, to record, the things to get data, right? And the uh, uh, CD room website, when the, the things are established. The digital era publication format changed the, the way and the commission uh, make it available in the website. About the International Year of Astronomy, about new projects, so the Galileo scope and many others, we can see about the new structure of the commission when it was changed by the commission 46 to the commission C1 and uh, the working groups as an easy or working group report for many years and you can see advertising journals as astronomy education research or relea or presidents and the teacher ed editors pictures that you can see so uh, now the newsletters as if you want to see are available in the web page and the external web page of the the commission c1 right so many messages uh, particularly this message from the president about uh, uh, written by Julieta Ferro, Ferro that I would like to ask you to, to read about acknowledgement, joint participation, special agreement experience, very, very positive, very optimistic about the interactions of, of the Commission of Education, of IAU, right? So about the current activities, we have to see about the, uh, that the Commission is a part of the Division C, as you know, right? So, about this, we have many working groups, as you can see, about the competitions for secondary school students, about education research and methods, about education resources, about the end of the network of astronomy, school education is the NACE, right? So, uh, during uh, the beginning of my term as the president, I was uh, announced as a message in December of uh, 2018 that we have many objectives. And uh, the, main, the main goals was particularly to start the Asteroid U meeting, okay? And the Astronomy Education Journal and the other projects. So I would like to share with you about this. About the international meetings on astronomy education, we can talk about, for instance, about the International Colloquium of 19, uh, 1991, when I was participating there in Montevideo, I was at the beginning of the commission as a consulting member in, in that time. Now we name it as associate members now, right? But I'm a member, officially member from years ago too. But about the proceedings of IEU meetings on astronomy education, uh, supported by IAU, you can mention about many, many meetings, as you can see, uh, like these, we have the covers of these proceedings of meetings, and uh, for those who would like to know about this, there was a paper published in Astronomy Education Review for me and Majid Neto, uh, published in 2011, and uh, we have a search about all of these uh, all of these proceedings and the studies about uh, about uh, uh, 300 complete papers and we make an analysis about this okay so uh, we can see about many other focus meeting that was happened by the IU general assembly as you can see here uh, make it in uh, rio de janeiro or beijing okay and then we in Hawaii and other in Vienna more, more recently. So there are many, many studies about and many presentations and papers or even abstract that we can see about this. But our recommendation was to make uh, something with cadency, with regular meetings like this, not, uh, not uh, let's say, uh, like a uh, general assembly or not, or a symposium, it's okay. But a very simple way could be continuously, okay, continuously. But as the CAT conferences uh, that have been done uh, since 2005, we have an, uh, an idea to make the Asteroid U conference more related on uh, school education or formal education or non-formal or even education for outreach or whatever 
but it's a little difference uh, uh, for the CAP meetings. And in alternate year, we have this idea and to start the first one that was last year, right? But because of the pandemic, it was uh, uh, canceled and postponed the, the next one CAP that would be in Sydney, maybe in 21, uh, virtual, maybe not, it's to be confirmed. And for us, the continuation could be in 22 for the asteroid U. About this, it was a success in this, uh, in this term. It was at about 114 participants and 25 countries and many talks at about 40, 44 and about 10 workshops and 50 posters. It was uh, in Munich, as I told. So another meeting that we have uh, last year was about the workshop of space science education research in the Middle East that happened in the United Arab Emirates in October of last year, right? And uh, we need an astronomy education journal, as I told, right? We have many publications before, like these published by Izob, the last president of the commission, one of the last president, uh, was the teaching of astronomy in Asian Pacific region. We have the Relaya that I'm a co-editor co for many years. And uh, we have the ISTAR about the surveys of many productions of astronomy. But we need an astronomy education journal. We are preparing this. It's uh, really a challenge. We need some support, but we are establishing now something about the uh, the editors, about the, let's say, the reviews, okay, uh, how the, uh, the people that will help uh, and a platform to, to use this system. And we, we are trying to advertise as soon as possible, right? So many other projects that I would like to comment, it's to make the big ideas. It's a project about the curriculum and together one uh, under one sky is a children art campaign you know, very interesting too uh, organized by many colleagues of the commission and the uh, iu symposia with uh, our support also right so as this uh, held in japan and next one will be held in argentina virtual meeting and it will be in december right so the astronomy days in this day in the school was a very uh, I was very proud to, uh, to have an idea and to ask for the 100 years of IU and to uh, have a platform to do this and to advertise for many countries that it was about uh, 500 events and about 70 countries, right? So for the next year, we need also the support, maybe by the OAE, and uh, could be in the equinox or then of November as the last year, or maybe in this year, something related on the next total eclipse that Tomita, as uh, my suggestion, uh, are organizing something about a website to encourage and to engage the communities of uh, teachers and students for the live streaming and to have methods, methodologies, or contents and resources about uh, uh, solar eclipses, right? So about the uh, announcement of the OAE, we have been in, in Paris with uh, Marcus and Karin, if you really remember, it was very interesting and we, we did a presentation about the interactions of Commission C1 with the OAE and uh, it happens in the IEU headquarters in Paris. So. Uh, we, there are many collaborations for the future and uh, we think about for if you are interested to, to know about the reports of our commission about the last year and even the working groups you can see in the web page uh, of the commission, right? So for this year, even with difficult times, really difficult times, and many times disappointing about many many meetings was uh, cancelled or postponed okay and uh, we made questions about the commission for the commission members as uh, what are your astronomy education activities during the last year or during these times of this year of the pandemic and what do you suggest for the future to engage these people to engage the members anyway right but now uh, con continuing to talk about the history and about the present and the future. 
there are many published contributions that uh, sh uh, could show the participation of many members from many countries and the efforts to improve the astronomic education through the world about the history of Commission 46 or C1. The surveyed material can be very useful for the next generation of astronomy education researchers, practitioners and teachers, not only as a repository of historic documents. And because of this, we are trying uh, to ask for a resolution about to digitize materials on education for the next General Assembly, but also, also to inspiration for future projects. So about the current activities must continue and to promote more and more collaborations with the OAE. So considering the past and inspiring the future. Then I would like to thank you very much for the invitation. Unfortunately, we are not together face to face, but I hope to, uh, to meet you in the future, all of you. And for now, I thank you very, very much for the opportunity. And I am available for questions and the comments. Thank you very, very much, my friends. We keep in touch for all the years that we have uh, available. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.